Welcome to Applied Bionomics. Today I want to talk to you about a predatory beetle called Stetherus punctillum. This beetle was developed by Jay Whistlecraft, an Ontario-based Agriculture Canada researcher who was noticing that this beetle is very common and very prominent in almost all throughout the entire summer in Ontario. And if you actually look all through North America, this is not an uncommon uh, species. It's a very, very effective predator. What we like about it is that it flies and it finds all species of spider mite by smell. And that's a really important thing. So you can release from a central release point in a greenhouse, let these guys out, and they will find the new hot spots. This was uh, first noticed when we started working with BC pepper growers. And now, basically every single BC pepper grower is purchasing some of these guys early in the year to get them going in the pepper crop because when they find new hot spots of spider mite, they're already seeing the larvae of this beetle associated with that. What's really exciting about this though, is that this beetle is unlike all the other spider mite predators. Most other spider mite predators are predatory mites and they really don't like to get exposed to high radiation, high heat, all the tough situations that are typically what happen when spider mites break free and explode in somebody's greenhouse. This beetle actually loves those conditions. The first commercial trial we ever did was actually on a palm tree at a, at a Las Vegas casino. And of course, they can't do anything in a Las Vegas casino that has a chemical, so they have to try biologicals. And of course, in Las Vegas, with the high sun radiation underneath a glass pane, uh, no predatory mite in his right mind is gonna stay on the surface of that palm to take care of the spider mites. So when we uh, did the first trial, we just asked the people there who uh, work with cherry pickers to unscrew the lid leave the bottle open at the base of the palm tree and spend their lunch up top uh, drinking their coke and uh, eating a sandwich and just see if they can see any of the beetles showing up. It's a little tiny black beetle, very easy to spot. By the time they actually got up to the top of the tree, there was already about 10 stetherus actively feeding on the spider mites. We've shipped these to the Caribbean to control the uh, cocoa palm red mite. We have used them in uh, roses. They're a, a big commercial uh, product for, for pot roses and, uh, and landscape roses. They love uh, to cycle in rose material. We're experimenting now with mini roses and in cut roses with this product. And also this product has achieved legendary status with the medical marijuana growers because not only does it like the harsh conditions of an indoor growing facility with lots of wind and lots of high heat, it also uh, doesn't mind the stickiness. One of the big problems that you get with spider mite, at least the two-spotted spider mite, is it generates webbing. And a lot of the predatory mites, with the exception of persimilis, will avoid webbing. So once you have a problem, the question is, how do you do it biologically? And the first answer now is we use stethers. Stethers doesn't care about webbing. It doesn't carry, care how sticky the flowers are. It's an extremely aggressive, high temperature, low humidity performing predatory beetle.